Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I've got a watercolour tutorial for you and we are going to paint some super cute little birds. Um, where's my other one? Super cute birds. Um, so I'm using some Crawford and Black watercolour paper um because i really like the effect that it gives it's like because it's quite a fuzzy paper and it's got a bit of a texture to it and you get just this really nice when it dries this really nice outline um and i just think it adds to the cuteness of the birds um so but you can use whatever paper you've got uh whatever watercolor paper you've got i should say um but i'm gonna use a piece of this these are pretty much full um but i've got one one little page here so Got my water. Sorry for the shaking. Still not, I'm still not in a place where, where it doesn't wobble. So apologies for that. Um, pot of water. I'm going to go quite simple with the colours today. I've got some yellow, some pink. That'll look nice together. Um, the blue is really lovely if you've got some blue this was a fun one to do a little variety of colors um, I've got a couple of palettes here that I'm that I've been using I try and stick with one but I end up just uh, spreading myself out um, so but you know that's the great thing about watercolor it, when it dries in the palette you can reuse it but some of this is a bit of a mix of watercolor and gouache um but they kind of work similar so that's fine um so let's get our brushes um might go with this one I'm gonna go with this brush yeah that's nice um, or you can go for a smaller brush that one's slightly smaller you want a nice um, I'd say a round brush because you can get the nice detail in but also you can use the edge of the brush to fill in the blocks of colour. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for my yellow and pink. So I'm going to wet my brush and then reactivate this because it's been sad. If you're using pans, you can do the same thing. You can keep adding some water to your colours, the ones that you want to use to get them nice and wet and then you get a nice puddle and it just makes it easier to use. We want to work quite quickly with these. Reactivate. Now that pink is very intense. So I might use this middle bit here, which is a mix of red an orange and then that little bit of pink in there but really it doesn't matter what colors uh, you use but try and find complementary colors so that when they do merge together they do create they don't they don't just kind of create the muddy the muddy color although that can look nice that can look nice so So if we think about our shapes of our birds, fluffy, 
a big circle head is another little circle and then we've got this selection of of triangles so a selection of circles and triangles unless you do uh, a flat tail um, so give ourselves a little bit of space I'm going to work down here because I'm left-handed so it makes it easier for me to go from right to left so that I'm not smudging across the paper I'm going to wet my brush and I'm going to go in with a little bit of yellow just a small amount on we want to start light light to dark and I'm going to create the underbelly so very very lightly with the tip I want to create that initial shape and I'm giving it a little bit of a wiggle so that I get this feathery effect and then I'm going to go in with just some water on my brush and fill in and we're taking it a little further up and then I'm going to add a little bit more yellow just to define it make it stand out and dab it dab it up dab it up so that I start to take the color a little further up and then I want to leave a little bit of a gap So with just some water, I feather it out. But what I can do is get my tissue and I can dab away any excess water and paint if I think it's going to bleed too much. So now I'm going to go in with this pinky, pinky orangey colour here. These will go really nicely together. And then I'm going to go and add in the back section. Um, but what I can do is start at the tail so that I know where I'm going with it. And it will also bleed a little bit, which can look quite nice. Let's give that a, um, give my brush a, a clean so that then I can use what's already on the paper to drag it up a little bit of a back and then I'm gonna dab 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 my way up here and then I need to add its head in little head just little extra bump Sometimes it is good to start with the head. Um, it does make it a little bit easier at times. Um, yeah, starting with the head, at least then you get an idea of how big it's going to be. Let's give it a little bit of a feather so we get some of this yellow merging in and then I will just so that I know where the where the nose is going to be even though I'm going to come back and I will add that in in a different color like a darker color like a black or a brown now let's add a bit more yellow up here where they're starting to merge together Now, it's eye. Clean, clean brush. I'm gonna draw a circle around where I think the eye is gonna be. And it's slightly bigger than what it would probably be, just because I wanna give it a little bit more room. Now, I'm gonna take that beak away because Sorry, wobbly screen. Actually, no, let's colour that in. Yep. 
I can add a little bit more. Quite, it's really nice when pink and yellow mix, you get this really lovely orange. So I've got quite a bit of a puddle down here, so I'm going to go in with my tissue. And then round off the edges a little bit or make them just kind of change any little areas that I feel might need changing. Um, and then I'm going to go in with a very smaller, I'm going to go in with a thinner, smaller brush, still with a tip. And then get some black or grey or brown on my brush. And then I can add in the beak. So the first beak that I did was a little too big, but that's and that's why I got rid of it. And then I've gone in with a smaller beak now. As it meets the head, it's going to bleed out a little bit. But that's nice. Not too much. I've just added a little bit of water there to feather it out. Clean, clean brush, a little bit of a feather. And then you get this effect, which can look really nice. And that happens on some of them. If it spreads too far, grab your tissue and dab it away. But I quite like that. Now I'm going to go in back in here. And add more yellow. And then a little bit more pink. And I can dry off the eye, so a little ball of tissue pressed down to try and dry the paper where the eye is going to be. Now what I want to do is get that black back on my small brush and I'm going to go right in to the tip of the tail and drag it out. I want to make it a little bit rounder. Went a bit too far. So go in and dab it away slightly. And go back in with pink to cover up or to re add that in. Once this bottom layer is dry, I will then go in and add this. So you want to wait for that bottom layer to dry before you start adding these details in because otherwise it's just going to bleed into that background. But whilst it's still wet, you can go in and add a little bit more paint here and there if there's anything that you want to uh, you want to bleed any other additional colours that you want to add. And we can go in and draw a circle for the eye because whilst that's still a little wet, get that nice bleed effect spreading out around the eye. 
sometimes it can look good like this is lovely um you can just let it dry completely so that you don't get that that spray this was i let that dry completely and then i added the detail around the eye but it's gonna be quite nice you can always go in and add a little bit more water to feather it around There we go. I'm going to wait for the paper to dry before adding in the black eye. Wait for this to dry before adding in any extra detail. Like this one, I didn't add any real, I didn't add loads of detail in there. Might want to add a little bit more pink maybe. See how that goes, Ooh, a little bit more orange, but sometimes less is more. And you can tip it up and let the paper, let the paint run slightly if it's clumping. If your paper's too dry, then it won't run. But at the same time, you don't want it, be too, it to be too wet because it then can end up just merging into one colour. Whereas you want these separate sections of colour but then you get this lovely lovely bit where they where they do start to merge into each other but they don't completely mix 